Hello there, Libras. This is going to be your monthly How Do They Feel About Me reading for November 2017. So this will be for all Libras, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. You may also resonate if you're cross-watching for a Libra. Um, keep in mind, this is general, so it may or may not resonate with you. Okay, so I'm just going to clarify these cards with tarot, okay, just to get more in-depth. So I'm tuning into the most current dominant and relevant energies of the person that you have most on your heart and mind for the month of November feelings towards you okay so let's see Libra okay so religious upbringing with the four pinnacles so that represents their most dominant feelings for you so how this person feels like you know God sent if that's the word you feel comfortable with um, or higher power has brought me to you and there's this feeling of unwilling to let you go they feel like they found something um, treasured so a little bit of codependency on this person's end okay it says your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path so it could also be that this person um, believes based upon the the longevity of your connection how long you've been together or the nature of your connection that, you know, based off of their religion that you guys are either supposed to get married or spend the rest of your lives together or that you're someone that, you know, they have to lean upon or isn't supposed to leave their life. You're supposed to be here. Like I said, there's a little bit of codependency. Let's see why they feel like this. Okay, so they have children. Your love life is affected or his love life is being affected by children with the Nine of Swords. So whether you guys have children together or this is something in relation to childhood issues, this person may worry about like the future. If you guys are not married at a certain time frame or if you guys are doing certain things that maybe they feel like they shouldn't be doing because of their religious upbringing and they've been taught this, for years like say you're not supposed to have sex before marriage and they're doing that with you they might feel guilty and feel like because we've had sex that you are my partner we are equally yoked like some religious people say that like Christianity I know those are one of the words or you know we're married in spirit or something like that this person is very much like over analyzing the connection or thinking too much if you guys have children they may want to get married they feel like if we have kids and we're shacking up then that equates marriage or that you're mine forever type of thing so this person is like imprisoning their own mind and at the same time kind of like keeping you trapped so how are they projecting their feelings outwardly towards you getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves with each other your bond deepens with the seven of swords so this person isn't you know they're deciding to communicate with you from this place of trying to see how you feel about them or what you want there's an influence by a mother figure their mother may be you know encouraging you two to get married or your mother or parental figure, some other person that's like over the above, like older than you two, may be trying to get you both to marry with the seven of swords. There's a little deception behind trying to see where you are with this connection because it's like they have their own agenda. This person um, wants to have a family with you or they already have it. So they're trying to marry you or there's something within the marriage. Maybe they're trying to get you to convert to their religion, their spiritual beliefs or something like that. It's like these two are like in cahoots with each other against this one man. Like there's some sneakiness going on, I feel. Why are they projecting their feelings out really this way? They have wedding. This situation involves marriage with the lover's card. So the reason why they're doing this is because they really want you to make the decision to choose them for life because they want to get married. Or because you're married, you need to make this ultimate choice or decision sacrifice for the connection or for the wet for the marriage or get married and when I see this card like it's cute and everything because it says wedding and they're all dressed up but every time I look at this picture he doesn't look happy and I overlook that sometimes because sometimes I'm not meant to see it but most of the time I do see this when I pull this card he's not happy and this woman is kind of like I can't believe this is happening but there's a smirk, there's a sneakiness about this whole energy to me. 
So this person is trying to get you to marry them or there's some deception within a marriage. And it's like the lover's card is like this partnership that's divinely blessed. But it also can be about choices and making a decision, a sacrifice for something or someone you love. And it's not an easy decision. So this person knows that whatever this is is not easy for you. And they're kind of trying to ease you into it. You know, kind of talk you into it. Have the mother come in or parents come in or the auntie or whoever come in and kind of ease this, ease you into something. Um, yeah, I don't know if that resonates, but that's what I'm getting. It's kind of weird. <laughs> but what are their intentions? So their intentions is express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture with the six of pentacles. So they're telling you, you know, how they feel or what they want. They're very, very adamant about this you know it's almost like this is imperative we got to do it right now this has to happen and this and that we got to do it because it's like they want they want something in return they're giving you something they're telling you something to get something if that makes sense it's like the something here with the seven of swords they're telling they're telling you something so that they can earn something back they want an equal exchange like if you do this or if I do this then you do this for me or vice versa something like that um yeah I don't know if that resonates with the most of you if it doesn't don't try to make it resonate with you if it doesn't okay so much love to you Libras until the next reading peace